Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive. As you can see, I'm not on the range today, but I just want to do a short video. I've been getting a lot of uh, questions in the comments uh, section about my watch setup. I'm just gonna show you guys what it is. I like to have a watch on me. I was never a watch guy in the teams, didn't care. You know, the, the collection of watches that you see in other videos over my shoulder, those are watches that were given to me and when they ran out of battery or whatever, I just threw them in a bag. After I retired, uh, I pulled that bag out and, well, most of them just had uh, batteries and stuff put back in them and, and had them repaired and there you go. So I got a bunch of old SEAL Team issue watches and, and some others that you know, eventually we'll do a, a breakdown of uh, a lot of those. But for my everyday carry, I like having a smart watch. So this is the Phoenix 6S Sapphire. Um, so it's the smaller one. It's got, honestly, it has more whistles and bells than I prefer, okay? But it, it works, it's fine. And it's got a decent battery life, but not, not that long, right? So every 10 days, I think, whatever it is on the manual, it says 10 days, two weeks, gotta, you know, recharge it. Now, if you use it a lot, you know, for exercising or tracking or whatever, because it's got maps and all, it's got all, they're, they're amazing, these things these days, right? And it gives you all the biometrics so it'll tell you your pulse. It'll tell you what your respiration is. All these health things that, that come into play as you get older, you kind of want to know how well you slept, why you feel like crap in the morning. Anyway, so, but in order to do that, it's got this little uh, light here that shines onto your, uh, you know, and does some voodoo and uh, figures out uh, what your pulse and everything is. Oxygen levels, I don't know. It's, it's a pretty amazing piece of kit. But it has to actually go up against your skin. So I had to come in and this is the this is just a regular NATO strap. And then I just came in and, and cut a window where I wanted it. So now when this lays on my uh on my wrist, it can you know do all its uh its biometrics. So but because I hate a couple of things. Okay the battery life was one thing. The other thing is if I'm exercising or I'm using something I just want to know what damn time it is. I hate scrolling through stuff. I mean, yeah, you young guys, yeah, sure, you're used to that crap. Not me. I just want to look at something and go, oh, that's what time it was. It also gives you a chance to, you know, show a little style, right? And uh, so a friend of mine, uh, Smitty, Rob Smith, he, uh, he founded a, uh, a watch company, Resco. And, you know, he's a SEAL, you know, and uh, it, that was his passion was miniature uh, mechanical you know devices and he went with watches so resco watches are uh, they're pretty bitching this one here is a uh, this model is the uh, the patriot but the face is is exclusive to uh, guys who uh, who served on a certain team anyway so that's the one I, I have on this one here it's 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 tough as nails it's showing just a tiny bit of wear around the uh, the edges this diamond like coating is no no kidding it's pretty badass anyway um, so that's that's the, the the watch that everybody sees. This is a watch that sits on the inside and tells me all those cool biometrics. And you know, you got to take it off and recharge it occasionally. And then everybody's like, well, "What the hell's that little?" One? Well, this little one here is just a compass. It's a, a Sun Two uh, clip-on. It's a it's a decent little compass. This one's uh, still got its uh, liquid filling in there. You know, it's got a rotating bezel, but I'm never going to use that. Yeah, you know, there's just no excuse not knowing your cardinal directions. You know, you find yourself in places, you know, hey, I know, you know, the freeway is north of here. Boom, I can figure out, you know, what I'm doing. And I, I'm not easy on my gear. Although this one I tend to wear when, uh, when I'm not expecting to do anything uh, that might damage it. Okay. Now, this is actually the Mod 1 when I first got here, the, the stunt double. And this is a Phoenix 5. This is a, the Mod 1. So I just kind of tore a hole in there and burned it through and you know, kind of figuring stuff out. Phoenix 5 does less. Uh, it's a little bit big, but you know, as you can see, it's, uh, it's taken a few hits. You know, eventually, these other ones are gonna look like that too. The Sun 2, this is what it looks like after it's been uh, Oh, riding on, on on my wrist for a couple of years. Uh, there's no liquid in there anymore. Compass still works though. So Sun 2, good job, man. I mean, it, it rattles around, but you know, it would probably be a pain in the ass if I was actually trying to navigate with this thing. But 
I can tell, you know, that, you know, which way north is any time. And then uh, just because this is, would be a lot less expensive to replace <laughs> than this one. This is a Skirfa Diver Bell. And um, Skirfa is a, a decent uh, watch company founded by a guy who does uh, um, saturation diving. But, you know, for a you know, three, $400 watch, I can break this, lose it, you know, get it stolen, whatever. And I can just go get another one. This one would be a lot more pain in the ass to get another one of, and it's a little more expensive. Anyway, so th this was the mod one. This is what I started out with. You know, guys first saw this, you know, I, I would answer some of the comments and, you know, tell you what it was, but boy, I just got more comments. I got tired of writing down, you know, what the hell I was wearing on my wrist. So that's, uh, Mod one and mod two, which is my current iteration. And we'll see where we go from that. Anyway, just a quick video. If you like this content, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment.